And here we are at the vet's office. Meow, there's so many animals here. Whoa, there are a lot of animals in this waiting room. Hey guys, everything is awesome. Kia, you made it. Don't worry, Hissy will be fine as soon as she sees the vet. Oh good, I've been worried about Hissy. Meow, my tummy hurts. I wonder how long it's going to take to see the vet. Okay, the doctor can see the next patient. I understand we have a very cranky unicorn. <laughs> no, Unikitty, you're a very happy unicorn. We're looking for the cranky one. Yep. and we're hoping she can see the doctor soon. Oh, it's a very busy day and our doctor is very, very busy. But remember Miss Hayes? Yes, she helped us last time we were here. She's able to help you again. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay, Miss Hayes, you have a patient to see. Okay, Hissy, don't worry. We're going to help you. Let's first get you out of the carrier. Oh, I see you brought a brush with you. Meow, meow. And let's very carefully get you out of your carrier. Meow, 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 meow. Ah, my tummy hurts. Meow, meow. Well, Hissy, you're in the right place. We can definitely give you a checkup. First, we can take your temperature. This is an ear thermometer. Everything looks okay. You don't have a temperature. Let me listen to your heart. Your heart sounds great. Now, I'm going to look closely into your eyes, okay? Your eyes look good. Let's take a little peek in your mouth. Open up and say, ah. Ah. Okay, looks good. In your nose, great. Your eyes, everything looks good. Let's check your little kitty ears. Okay, nice and clean. Oh, other ear is good too. Yeah, but my tummy really hurts. Oh, and so does my paw. Your paw hurts too. Let's take a quick x-ray. Okay, let's see. Oh, all your little kitty bones look fine. I just have a little scratch on there. Oh, you just have a little scratch, okay. Okay, we'll just clean up your little boo-boo. And we have these special emoji band-aids. Okay, let's go ahead and pull one out. Let's see which little band-aid you got. Look how cute. It looks like it's Nemo and Dory. And it says besties. Okay, we'll put this on your little paw. Here we go. My paw feels much better, but my tummy still hurts. Well, maybe something you ate or drank is causing a tummy ache. Let me check your carrier real fast. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Looks like you have a bottle of Orange juice. Yum, 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 yum. I'd like to just drink it all up. No, no, no. Kitty should not be drinking orange juice. Oopsie. And let's see what else we have here. It looks like you have a bottle of milk. I just love drinking milk all day long. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Hissy, did you know that most adult cats are lactose intolerant? Lactose what? That's the sugar in milk. It's called lactose. And a lot of times, kitties have a hard time digesting it, and it makes their tummy hurt. Oh, and I've been drinking a lot of milk. Hissy, that's probably why you have a tummy ache. Well, what should Hissy drink if she can't drink milk? Water. That's all kitty cats need, and doggies too. Uh, that was for Hissy. Oopsie. Here you go, Hissy. Here's some fresh water. I am pretty thirsty. Now let's see what else you have in your carrier. Hey, it looks like you brought your little kitty food bowl. And a bone? Have you been eating dog bones? Yes, Rolly and Bingo eat them, so I eat them too. Well, these bones are made for doggies. You need to eat food made for kitty cats. Hey, everybody, let me show you something. I have food in this basket, and only one thing in this basket is safe for Hissy to eat. Oh, I know, I know, it's the pizza. Well, while pizza is delicious and humans love to eat it, it is not something that kitty cats should eat. This pizza looks like it has pepperoni, olives, and green peppers. And what else is on it? Cheese, lots and lots of cheese. That's right, and cheese is dairy, so it has lactose in it. And lots of kitties are lactose intolerant, so they can't eat cheese. Very good, Hissy. So, no pizza for kitty cats. Up next, we have grapes. Do you think kitty cats and doggies should eat grapes? No way, they are very, very bad 
for doggies, and I'm guessing for kitties, too. That's right, doggies and kitties should not eat grapes. That means they shouldn't eat raisins, too, because those are dried grapes. Oh, good to know. What's next? Up next, we have an ice cream bar. Do you think that's good for Hissy to eat? Ice cream is dairy, so that could upset Hissy's tummy, too. You guys are so smart. Kitty cats should not eat ice cream. You're correct. And the last thing we have is fish. This fish has been cooked, and there are no bones in it. Do you think this is safe for Hissy to eat? Yes, yes, yes. You're right. Kitty cats love fish, and if it's cooked and you don't have any bones in there, it's safe for them to eat. Meow, meow. Yummy. But the safest thing for kitty cats to eat is food made especially for kitty cats. Here you go, Hissy. Yummy, 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 yummy. My tummy feels better already. That's great news. I'm glad your tummy feels better. Whoa, Dizzy! Something's just popped up. Dizzy the pet vet to the rescue. Wait a minute. What is going on here? I hear something. Yes, it's my family inside of the slime. Can you help? Of course I can help, Dolores. Thank you, Fizzy the pet vet. Miss Hands, I need a hand. Okay, Fizzy. Hi, everyone. It's me, Miss Hands. Let's see what's inside of this pink slime bottle. And what is going on up here? Well, let's open this up and find out what's inside. Whoa, there were a lot of things in there. Wait a minute. Louisa was in there. And it looks like Louisa's jumping in the slime. The donkeys, the donkeys, I need to find the donkeys. Okay, Louisa, you sit tight in the slime. I found one donkey right here. <laughs> and what's back here? Another donkey. Hold on to these, Louisa. Okay, I got them. And what is in this capsule? Hey, it's purple, just like Louisa's dress. Let's unwrap it, unwrap it, unwrap it, and what is this? It looks like some kind of fidget toy. But, uh, Fizzy, how is this going to help Louisa? Oh, it's all very, very magical. Put the slime over Louisa, then play with the fidget. And then it's Fizzy Magic time! If you say so, Fizzy! Uh, sorry about this, Louisa. Whoa, we need to cover you up. You and the donkeys. And then I play with the fidget. And here comes the good part! Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy, Bob! Whoa ho ho! That was amazing! Thank you for helping me, Fizzy, but whoa! We need to help everyone else in these slime bottles! And where did my donkey go? I don't know, Louisa! I think they ran away and... Meh! Meh! There goes that crazy goat! Oh no! I better go get it! And help the rest of my family! Yes, yes! Let's open up the blue slime bottle! Okay, Phoebe! We'll see what's inside of all this blue slime! Here we go! Go. Whoa! Let's try that again! Here we go! Something rolled away! Oh, we have another one of these capsules. We have a giant accordion. And me! A little teeny tiny Mirabelle! Woohoo! This is so much fun! All right, Mirabelle, you sit tight in the slime. I'm going to put your accordion in there because I think this is magical slime and we need to open up this capsule and see what's inside. Let's unwrap it. What is this? We can unscrew it and screw it back together again. Woo! Well, this is fun. Is this magical, Fizzy? Yes, it is. You need to cover Mirabelle in the slime. Twist the fidget, and then the magic happens. Okay, Mirabel, I have uh, some bad news for you. What is it? I'm going to cover you in slime, but it's going to be okay because this is all part of fizzy magic. And now I keep doing this, and Fizzy says, Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy, Bop, Bop. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I laying on? Oh, it's my accordion. Thanks for helping, Fizzy and Miss Hands. I'm glad that slime helped, but where's the rest of my family? Well, I think they may be in here, and Louisa is chasing a goat. 
chasing a goat? Yeah, it's a long story, but sit tight. Let's see if we can find the rest of your family. Okay, thanks. Okay, it looks like we have some red slime here. Let's see who is inside. Whoa! We have one very angry red panda. Ah! Why am I so small? But whoa! Why is this slime so much fun? Okay, May. Here's the deal. We're going to cover you with slime. We're going to play with whatever this is. And then fizzy magic will help you grow bigger. Okay! So let's go ahead and see what is in this capsule. We will unwrap it, unwrap it, unwrap it. Whoa! There's even more to unwrap. It's like a mummy. Wow. Look at this. You can twist it and push it. And it goes right back to its original shape. Can you stop playing and help me, please? Yes, yes, yes. So, sorry about this. We're going to cover you in slime. Whoa, you still look pretty angry. A little bit more slime. I'm going to play with this. And then, Fizzy says... Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy. Wow! Wow! Getting better? Almost there? Now that's more like it! Whoa! Who are you? You're huge! Oh, hello there! I'm May. Don't worry about my size. I'm pretty big, but I'm really nice. Let's open those other slime bottles! Yes, let's open these slime bottles, May. We have this purple slime bottle. Let's see what's inside. Wow! Someone fell all the way over here! Hey, it's Isabella! Why am I so tiny? Why is there a red panda here? Ah! Wait a minute! This is super fun slime! Woohoo! I'm glad you think so because we are going to cover you with this slime in just a second. Let's see who we have here. Hey, it's Casita! And it's some kind of maze. Whoa. We'll put that over here in the slime. And we have another magical capsule here. Open this up and unwrap it. What will we find? Whoa, this time. Whoa, hey, it's purple like Isabella's dress and blue. And whoa, it has all these tiny little beads in there. And we can twist this. Wow, look, it changed its shape. So here we have an oval. And now it goes zigzag around here, back to an oval. And now it zigzags around here, super duper cool. Okay, as cool as that is, we need to stop, cover up Isabella, play with this toy just a little bit more. And Fizzy says, Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy, Bop. Whoa, almost there. Yes, I'm back. Thanks for helping me, guys. Hey, where's my little cousin Antonio? Uh, we have not found him yet. Maybe he's in here. In there? What are you waiting for? Let's get him out of there. All right, let's not wait another moment longer and open up this green slime bottle. Here we go. Who's inside? Wow, I think that slime bottle had the most things inside. Antonio, sorry it took us so long to find you. It's okay, I have lots of friends keeping me company, and it's so much fun jumping in the slime. Woo! Antonio, it does look like you had lots of friends. You have your toucan friend, and it's jumping in the slime, and your capybara. Who just zoomed into the slime, wow! And we have another magic capsule. We need to unwrap it and see what we find inside. This opens up. Looks like we can open all of these right up. Push this button and then close them all up. Let's see what happens when we push the button. Whoa, that pops them up. Let's do it one more time. Okay, everyone, I'm going to need to just put you right here in the slime. We need to cover you all up. Play with this again. And Fizzy says... Fizzy, Wizzy, Bubbizzy, Bop! Whoa, 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 whoa! That must have been some powerful magic. Look how big you are! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow, you look like a great friend for me! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fizzy, Phoebe, Mazan, thanks so much for helping me and my family. We're always so very happy to help. Oh, I had a really good night's sleep. Oh, no. 
It's starting to happen. Ah! No! no why, why does this keep, keep happening to me? To me? Huh. Oh, well, I guess I better go brush my teeth and get ready for the day. This is so weird. I have so many sharp teeth now. Oh, it's so different. Oh, yeah. Breakfast time. Mom and Dad made me toast and a smoothie, waffles, donut, pancake. Ew! It all sounds totally disgusting. The only thing I kind of feel like eating are cherries and raspberries. But what I really want to eat is... Bamboo! Yummy, yummy bamboo! It's exactly what I wanted for breakfast! Oh, I love it so much! It's so delicious! Ooh, what's that on the ground? Ooh, a delicious grasshopper! I'm gonna eat you! Yum! What am I doing? I almost ate a grasshopper! Oh, a delicious dragonfly! Oh no! Now I'm trying to eat the dragonfly! Floop, bloop, 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 uh oh! Why am I eating all of these insects? Pwah! Pwah! I think I need to go to the doctor. Wait! I need to go to a veterinarian. Oh! Well, here I am. I'm really doing it. Fizzy the pet vet. I can't believe I'm a pet now. Oh! Look at this poor donkey. He has a cast on his leg. It's gonna be okay, little buddy. So then I was like, this pup is not going to fly with this earache. What happened next? Fizzy, the pet vet, helped my ear. I had an ear infection. Are you better now? All better. He's the best pet vet ever. Wow, they look really familiar. Sounds like Fizzy, the pet vet, is one awesome vet. I guess I'll just sit right here and wait until it's my turn. Gotta admit, I'm a little nervous. Fizzy the pet vet is ready to see his next patient. Well, I guess that's you. Nope, he's just waiting for his medicine. You're the next patient, May Lee. Oh, but I'm so very nervous. There's nothing to be worried about. Fizzy is an awesome vet. You're in good hands. Now, come on, come on, let's go. Oh, okay. Here goes nothing. Okay, let me see here. It says my next patient is a red panda. So cool. Hello. Welcome to Fizzy the Pet Vet's office. How can I help you today? Well, I was a girl and then I turned into a red panda and I don't know how to... Ah, ah, it's hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. Oh, it's okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't believe I'm at a pet vet. It's okay. Take a deep breath. This will help you breathe easier. It's totally normal to feel a little stressed out and anxious. I mean, you did just turn from a girl into a red panda. Let me teach you about red pandas so you know what to expect. Okay, thank you. Do you find yourself wanting to climb trees more often? Yeah, I do. That's because red pandas love climbing trees, hanging out in trees, and they really, really love to eat bamboo. I had some for breakfast. Perfect. And you can eat fruit, and sometimes you may even want to eat insects. Well, that explains a lot. I tried to eat a grasshopper, a butterfly, and a dragonfly. Wow, you must have really been hungry. Okay, I think we can take this off now. Easy. Easy, how are you doing? Much better, thank you. Okay, now that you've calmed down, I'm gonna go ahead and take your blood pressure. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, I'm going to now check and see how fast your heart is beating. Okay. Okay, so just listen to your heart. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Now let me look into your eyes and your ears. Okay, first your eyes. Yep, looks great. Look into your ears. Make sure you keep them nice and clean. Now that you have fur in your ears, you could get ear infections. 
Oh yeah, I forgot I have fur in my ears. I'll be sure to keep them clean. Okay, let's take your temperature. Okay, okay, good job. Okay, yes, your temperature looks good. Now when you take a bath, what kind of shampoo do you use? Same shampoo I've always been using, Pantene. Yeah, that's not gonna work anymore. You need to use shampoo made for animal fur. Oh, where can I buy some? You can go to your pet store and buy some. Oh, and if you get fleas, please come in and we can help you with that. What? I can get fleas? That's right, you are a furry animal now. You can get fleas. Oh, and quick, look over there. Whoa, 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 over there? Ouch, what was that for? That was your rabies vaccine. Why do I need that? All of my patients have to get rabies shots because they're animals. I think you keep forgetting you're an animal. Uh, 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 yes, I can't believe I'm an animal. This is so wild. Uh, uh, uh. Relax, breathe, breathe. My assistant, Miss Hands, is going to do a fun little activity that's going to help you calm down. Okay? Okay, thank you. Hi, May. I'm Miss Hands, and I hear you need to calm down a little bit. So we are going to color. That always makes me feel a lot calmer. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm on that coloring book. Yes, you are. And this coloring book has magic ink. Watch what happens when I use this marker. Does this person look familiar? It's you! Oh, 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 that's so fun. Can you color another one? Yes, I can. How about this one? It says, ancient magic turns my into a giant red panda. Let's see what colors we reveal with our magic ink. Wow, look at you. So bright and colorful, enjoying some ice cream, looks like some ramen noodles up here, listening to music, recycling, what an incredible red panda you are. Thank you, thank you, I'm feeling so much better. Let's just color one more and then can I take that home with me? Of course you can take it home, you've been such a great patient. Okay, this time we're going to color down here and see if we can find a cupcake doodle, a bear, a red panda doodle, and a paw print doodle. Here we go. A heart! Okay, let's see what we found. Did we find the cupcake doodle? Right here. Did we find a bear? <laughs> right here. Red panda doodle. Well, here's a big giant red panda and a little tiny one down here. This one matches this picture. And now we just need this paw print doodle. It's right here. I'm gonna send this home with you and if you ever need anything, just come back and see Fizzy the Pet Vet. I don't mind being a red panda so much anymore. You guys are so nice. And I understand why I wanna eat bamboo, hang out in trees, and well, eat insects. Thanks guys. You're super duper welcome. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, I hope we see you again real soon. Meow, meow, meow. You need to go see the doctor. Meow. <laughs> Thanks, Kia, for getting me here. <laughs> Time to go get Bingo. Meow. Meow, so heavy. Meow, meow, meow. Now we need to see a doctor. Doctor, doctor. We are here for our appointment. Oh, hi, Bingo and Rolly. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a while. Things are so crazy around here. I'm just back and forth, back and forth. Oh no, what's wrong with your patience? This doggy right here has a pizza stuck on his head. Ruff, yummy pizza. And come with me right over here. See these two puppies? Meow, yes, they look fine. They look fine, but have you smelled their breath? Mm, let me smell their breath. <laughs> P.U. P.U., they both have very stinky breath. Yes, they both have stinky breath-itis. Oh, and that's not all. Come with me over here. Oops, sorry, puppy. This doggy right here found her mommy's glitter. I love glitter! And she got it all over her hair and even in her eyes. Oopsie! And you see this little owl over here? Who? You! Who? 
You, oh, you're an owl, you say hoo hoo. Well, let me tell you about this owl. Yeah, tell me about her, she looks fine. See how she's wearing those big glasses? Hoo, hoo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, she can't see very well and I think she needs a new prescription. And the waiting room is jam packed. Meow, ruff, ruff, meow, ruff, ruff, meow, ruff, ruff, meow. So Rolly and Bingo, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait a while. How long is a while? My head is stuck in here. Um, maybe about uh, five hours. Five hours? We can't wait five hours. Bingo helped me when I needed help. Now I'm getting help for him. And for Rolly. Fizzy, Phoebe, Miss Hands, we need your help. Oh, hi, Kia. Hey, there's Rolly. Hey, Bingo. What seems to be the problem, guys? Well, Rolly has his head stuck in his carrier. Oopsie. And Bingo has a little tummy ache. I'm a little gassy too. Pretty stinky stuff. Why, well, I think Miss Hands can help you. Miss Hands, Miss Hands, we need your help. Okay, Pops, I am here to help you. Can you start with Rolly? It's no fun having your head stuck. Yes, Rolly, let's see. Let's try to get you out of here. Oh, you really are stuck. Okay, let's start over here and open up your crate. How did you lock yourself inside? Well, I got inside and then I saw these zip ties. You see these things right here? And I thought it'd be fun to put them on my cage. The only thing is, I trapped myself inside of my crate and I stuck my head through here and, well, it got stuck. Okay, Rolly, well, let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, here's one of those zip ties you were having fun with. And whoa, you have lots and lots of stuff inside of here. And let's go ahead and get you out. Oh, oh, you're super stuck. Yep, just like I said. Okay, well, let's use our scissors and cut away these zip ties. Let's see if that helped. Oh, yes, now you're free from your crate. Just need to give you a little gentle pull. Here we go, almost out, almost out. And yes, you are out of your crate. But my head is still stuck in here. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, my goodness, okay. Going to be very careful. And go ahead and cut this zip tie. Now we just pull, pull, and you're free. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, oh, there's something in my cheek. Okay, let's get this out. Hey, no problem. Ah, thanks so much. <laughs> what was in my crate? What was in my crate? Well, let's first take a look at your crate. Look, you have a red skateboard here. Lots and lots of paw prints. You're giving your buddy Bingo a high five over here. Look at all these stars and bones. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't taste good. Oh, it's a fake one. Lots of cool designs like stars, circles, and bones over here. And inside it's green. Look, there's a bed and even a bone back there. How cozy. <laughs> and what's in my bag? What's in my bag? Okay, Rolly, let's see what is in here. Oh, so much stuff. You have a red food bowl with some puppy dog pals, dog chow. There you are. <gasps> Look, you have a brush. My fur has been looking a little crazy. Can you groom me real fast? Okay, you have a couple of little stray furs over here. We'll just trim those up. There we go, just a little bit, okay. And now we'll take your brush and we'll brush your beautiful fur. Get all that loose fur out of there. I look gorgeous. Oh, do I have a collar? Yes, you have a red collar with a yellow bone on it. And we're just going to pop this on you. Uh, that looks so much better. Thank you. What else? What else? It looks like you have a yellow bone. Yum, yum, yum. It's a delicious bone. I love it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You have a little bottle of water. You can have some after you eat. I get to eat. I get to eat. Yes. After we help little Bingo over there, I'll feed both of you. Oh, okay, what else do I have? You have, hmm, we'll have to see what this is. Whoa, it's a fun little toy with a tennis ball on it. Go get it. Oh, here I go. Got it, got it, got it, it's so much fun. Oh, easy with the slobber. Sorry, dude. Oh, guys, don't forget about me. My tummy does not feel so good. Let's help Bingo. The good news is you don't have your head stuck in anything. Um, Fizzy, is that stuck on your head? Yes. Okay, here you go. Oh, there you go, Fizzy. Ah, thanks, Miss Hands. I'm sorry about that. It's okay, Fizzy. Okay, Bingo, it should be super easy to get you out of your crate. Just open this up and look, you're not stuck in anything. Yeah, I know not to stick my head in things and not to lock myself in my crate, unlike some people. <clears throat> hey, are you talking about me? 
Yes, I am. Okay, ah, my tummy. Okay, bingo, well let's see what we have in here and then we'll help you with your little tummy ache. Looks like you have lots of fun stuff too. Pour it all out. Hey, look, you have food too, puppy dog pals. You and Rolly on here, and here you are, bingo. I'm so handsome. Yes, you are, and look, you have your little blue food bowl, a bone. Oh, I wanna eat it, eat it, eat it. No, 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 we gotta wait and figure out what's wrong with your tummy. Oh, okay. You have a green water bottle to help you wash down all that puppy chow. Hey, here's your brush. Let's quickly groom you. Yeah, so you can look as nice as I do. Okay, we'll just trim a little bit of the fur up here that's gotten a little bit long. And we'll just brush, brush, brush this fur. Okay, we're getting out all of that fur, your undercoat that you don't need anymore and that you shed all over the place. And how do I look? How do I look? You look super handsome. And it's time for your color. Okay, Bingo. Here's your blue collar. Oh, I look so good. All by my tummy. Yep. We'll do a little checkup next. Just wanted to show you the last thing in your crate. You also have this crazy tennis ball. With my tummy hurting, I'm in no mood to play fetch. Okay, Bingo, I'm just gonna lie you down right here. So this is a stethoscope. Ah, does it hurt? Not at all. I'm just going to listen to your heart. It sounds great, Bingo. I wanna try, I wanna try. <laughs> okay, here we go, let's listen to your heart. It sounds perfect. Hooray! Okay, it is time to take your temperature. Here we go. Mmm, it's just a little bit high. But you know what? For doggies, 99.1 is okay. Oh, but that would be a little bit high if you were a human? That's right, for humans you want to be 98.6. Ah, good to know! Okay, now I'm gonna look into your eyes, your nose, and your ears. First, a quick peek into your eyes. Okay, that looks good. Yep, that one looks good too. In your nose. Oh, everything's okay in there. Let's check your ear. Whoa, that is full of earwax. Let's look at this one. Yep, that is full of earwax. What did you say? I said it's full of earwax. Why are you whispering? Oh, you know what? You probably can't hear very well with all of that earwax in there. Ah! We'll just take a soft little cloth and clean your ears. All done? Yes, I am. Hey, I can hear you better now. Thanks, Doc. Okay, Bingo, let's check your blood pressure. Oh, it's in the green. You have great blood pressure. You know what's strange? What's that, Bingo? I'm feeling better already. Oh, you know what? Sometimes when your ears are all cleared with earwax, it might make you a little bit dizzy. Yeah, I've been feeling kind of dizzy, like, whoa, and then my tummy hurts. So his ears made his tummy hurt? Well, if it was making him feel dizzy, then that can make you feel like, oh, tummy hurts and I might have to. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Bingo. Do you feel well enough to try a little bit of puppy chow? Yes, 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 yes! Okay, we'll start with just a little bit of food for you both. Up first we have Rolly's food. Let's pour it into his bowl. Hey, it's red puppy chow for Rolly. Yummy! Jam, 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 jam. And while he's eating, let's go ahead and open up Bingo's food. Here we go. It's blue food for Bingo. Yum, yum! Yum, 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 food. yum, 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 yum. We are all done! Guys, we are so happy you're feeling so much better! Yeah, have lots of fun at the park! Hey, everybody! I'm camping in the woods with Phoebe, and I'm roasting marshmallows. Ah! They're so delicious! Ooh! I want to try the marshmallow! Yum, yum, yum! That is so yummy, yum, yum, yum! Hey, Phoebe, what kind of animals do you like to see when we're out in the woods camping? Oh, I love to see squirrels and chipmunks! Yeah, and sometimes we see deer and even snakes! Yeah, and sometimes we see... pigs! What are pigs doing in the woods? Huh, that's a good question, Fizzy! Oh, Miss Hands, put out the fire! I don't want the little piggies to get burned! Okay, Fizzy, I'll pour some water on it! Thanks, Miss Hands! These pigs are so cute! Let's watch them play! 
Just wrap this around your leg. It feels kind of soft now, but it will get nice and hard and be a nice hard cast. And I don't want you to jump around or roll in mud for the next two weeks while your bones are healing. <laughs> oh yes, I know, I have some food for you. I understand that you are very hungry. Okay, little piggy, here's some food for you. Okay, now that you're all done, I want you to rest. I'll be very gentle and put you right up here while we take care of your friend. Okay, little piggy number two, come on in. <laughs> Wait, come back here, little piggy. Okay, let me see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, you have a little mud on you, okay? Maybe we can give you a bath. Okay, okay, let me check with my light. Eyes look good. Other eye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And your little nose. Oh, oh, okay. Your ears, okay. Other ear, okay. Well, I know why it was a little hard for you to breathe and why you're not feeling very comfortable. <coughs> you have a little respiratory infection. It's like a cold and you have an ear infection. <coughs> it's very, very easy to treat. We'll just give you some medicine. Some eardrops. And a little bit of food because I know you're hungry. A little more. Very good. You're such a good little piggy patient. Okay, I need to listen to your heart. Okay. Uh-huh. Very good. Your heart sounds great. Let me check your blood pressure. Perfect! That medicine is going to make you feel so much better. And your ears will feel a lot better too. Now, it's time for a little piggy bath. Here's the bathtub. And in goes the little piggy. We'll just wipe away some of this mud and dirt that's on your face. And maybe got into your ears and gave you a little ear infection. Clean the other ear up. 
clean around your little piggy face. <laughs> You're getting nice and clean, little piggy. You look so much better. And now Miss Hands has a surprise for you. <laughs> That's right. It's a picture of a pig she's going to color in. Did you know that pigs can't sweat? That's right. That's why they sleep and roll around in the mud to stay cool. And the mud help keeps a pig's skin from getting sunburned. Did you know pigs love belly rubs? It's true. And mother pigs sing to their babies. They have more than 20 different grunts and squeals that they can use to talk to their babies. Did you know pigs have hooves? Hooves are also found on goats, deer, and sheep. Let's color in the different parts of the pig. I already colored in the snout, the ears, the body, the tail, the legs. This part right here is called the trachea. Pigs breathe air through the trachea and then the air goes to their lungs. This is a really big lung. I'm going to get a bigger crayon to color it in. This little part right here is the pig's heart. When the pig eats, the food goes into the stomach and below it is the liver. This part right here is the pancreas. And behind it here is a kidney. And these are the intestines. Oh, I have great news, Fizzy. What is it, Phoebe? 